coding siksha so today in this tutorial i will be telling you about how to save data in firebase using javascript so this is the application there are two fields let me enter name and country and after clicking on the save data button you will see a entry being added inside the records database so you can see that a second entry has been added so let me just delete all the entries let me delete this entry and uh, also delete this entry so let me add a brand new entry this is Gautam and India so when I click on save data so you will see that entry has been added here India Gautam so in this tutorial we will be looking at how to add entries in Firebase so let me just delete all the so just make a new file so let's just start writing the code here so this will be Firebase save data in the body we will be having two input fields this will be id name so in which we will be entering the name so placeholder will be name second will be of country so similar placeholder country after that we will be having a button to submit the form let me give a id button and a label that is save data Apart from that, you also need to create a new project in Firebase. Go to this website, firebase.google.com. Then go to go go to console. And after that, you need to create a new project in Firebase. I have already created some projects, so, so let me select this project. So after that, you have to add an app so this would be a web application so i will select this simply write here crud application and click on register app you can give any name of your choice so basically this will give you a starting point you just have to include this script here so this will include the firebase sdk for you so just after the title paste the script and also apart from that we also need the database script also so this is the firebase database so just paste the script this is a cdn first is the firebase sdk and second is the firebase database and the third file i will create this config.js file so in which i will write the my code that is generated here you can see that this is all the code that i will copy here copy it and uh, paste it in my config.js so this is my file here you can see that I will paste it here this will create a firebase config variable so this will hold the API key authorization domain database URL all that stuff and lastly it is just initializing it by using this form function firebase.initialize app and uh, after this after the body I will be including the script.js and now I will be going back to the script.js so first of all I will be targeting the button document element by id and I will target the I button with the id that I have given here button here so you can see that id button button dot add event click listener so when we click the button this function will execute first of all we will get the values which the user types so for that i will create a new variable name so this will fetch the name dot value sorry dot value and similarly for the country as well document dot get element by id country 
so dot value so first of all we will check that if name is equal to if either of the fields is empty we need to print a alert box to the user so please enter the fields so now if I left any kind of field empty you will get a message so if I click save data uh, document is not defined and script sorry this is document so now if I click save data you will see that please enter the fields so in the else block I will write the code here So in the else block I will make the object. So I will make part data. So inside this we will make the object. It will contain two values name and country. So now we just need to save the data to the Firebase. So for that first of all you need to go to the database after continue to console just click it and go to the database section here we need to write a rule here which will allow you to read and write to the database so just go to rules here and just make it read to true and write to true so just make this modification and after that you can just read to the database or write to it and after this we will make a new variable of database so this will be firebase.database this is a function which gets the database and now we will be creating a reference so now just let me just have a reference here reference is equal to uh, this will be database dot ref and I will be creating a reference of records and then I will be just be pushing the object to the database to the reference that is records so reference dot push simply data that's it so the application is complete so now if I refresh it I write something here and click on save so nothing happens but let me just refresh the data here so now you will see that one entry has been added here records so you can see that USA John so you can see this was a previous entry so let me just delete it let me just en enter some more entries here so you can see that save data India save data so you will see that these are the entries so in the next video we will see that how to fetch these records or how to read the data from the firebase database and display it onto the application in the next video